Okay, so I say these items are overrated, but I mostly just don't use them. Or they're not important for me. If you like using them, go right ahead. I just personally don't use them myself. First one that people love to try to get each season is the Ibrella. Personally, this item is only so well regarded just because of other items that exist. It's part of the three slot trichotomy of items that players just don't want to give up. This being the walking cane and any inventory expanding chest slot. The Ibrella helps out in both spring and summer as it's the best head slot item for these two seasons. It's rather useful to have, however its usefulness is only really based on what the character has. That being said, with the eye being one of the winter exclusive items, it's definitely lower on a person's list compared to other winter items. I myself would take a cane over the eyeball any day. Since we're talking about winter exclusive drop, let's go ahead and talk about another item that people seem to really love, that being the Tam O'Shanter. The Tam majority of the time people say is a great item because you can wear it for a really long time and you don't have to worry about sanity drain at all. Yeah, that is true, but is it worth an inventory slot? Like if we look at the Tamashanter's daily sanity gain, the player will get about 53 sanity a day. This is the 8 minute day times the Tam sanity rate of 6.67. But then we gotta look at the day, dusk, and night cycle. Dusk and night time drain sanity of a normal player by 5 a minute. 3.75 for Wendy, 5.5 for Willow, and 6.25 for Wolfgang. But if you look at each and every day throughout the year, on average, the player is going to lose about 20 sanity, and the player would lose the most sanity in winter and spring, and the least in summer. It kind of makes you think why almost all winter clothing have sanity gains to it, in addition to providing insulation. The only exceptions being the bunny muffs and the beefalo hat. But let's talk about it as a sanity item. You know what also gains sanity? Eating. Also crafting helps. Doing chores around the base also gives sanity. And even insanity itself gives sanity. So I ask again, is the Tam really worth holding? Next is the pen flute. Oh the pen flute. The ultimate trump card of I'm surrounded and about to die. Really this only ever sees use in a few boss fights. Maybe dragonfly for enrage cancel. Twins potentially for soloing. Maybe you can use it for the closet's Krampus wave. Maybe you get caught out on nightmare phase and are surrounded by monkeys. That's about all I can think of. Maybe you could also use it for a late game hound wave if you have no means of protection. But then again, the player can just leave the server. The pan flute is very strong but also very niche. You can use it for simple things too like moving mobs into pens or even just like tending to your garden. And well, beyond most of that, I just don't use it. And finally, another item I just don't use but it's also well regarded. The dark sword. Ah, the dark sword. How are you sitting in the closet getting dust? Look, the Dark Sword is good for regular characters. In fact, it's actually better for weaker characters because it gets you past the 50 damage threshold. I mean, who doesn't want high damage? But I just don't find a use for it in my playstyle. It's only really used for bosses for me, and that's until I get a beefalo up and running. Like for real though, what does the Dark Sword help with? Let's look at all the health values of the creatures in the game. Majority of the times the Dark Sword does not reduce hit numbers for lower health creatures compared to a tentacle spike or a handbat. The Dark Sword only helps in a few instances and that's only against creatures that are over 200 HP. The Dark Sword gets that 3 hit threshold on 200 HP creatures and beyond that you'll be saving 1 or 2 extra hits from other weapons by using a Dark Sword. I play Wendy myself so usually I'm fighting weaker enemies, and for stronger ones, Abby's extra damage helps out. The only time a Dark Sword is useful for me is against nightmare creatures early on and bosses with AoE, so you can kind of see why I don't use it much. That's the end of this list, those are my thoughts on these items, tell me in the comments why I'm wrong, and we'll discuss how people like to play games differently, but other than that I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Take care.